Hello everybody, welcome to Just Ask Momo and today's letter goes like this. Hi Momo, I'm a 15 year old female. I feel like I'm letting my life go by me and I am wasting it. I wake up in the morning, I go to school, I come home, I get on the computer and go to sleep. I realize that I'm wasting my life away, but I don't always know how to get motivated into doing something. I barely have any friends and barely ever go out on weekends. How do I take full advantage of my life and live it to the fullest? Also, I am extremely scared of death to the point that it brings me into a state of depression. I can't seem to process the idea that I'm going to die and not live in this beautiful thing we call life. How do I overcome this fear? Thanks, Momo. You're so amazing. I look up to you and hope to be like you when I am older. Love, Lola. <laughs> wow, man. That's the kind of thing that uh, that makes me blush. Thank you so much, Lola. That is so sweet of you. This is a two-part question. I'm going to go right to the second question because I believe that the second question could be part of the reason that you're not so sociable and that you're not going out to do what it is you want to do. Fear of death. Well, you're kind of talking to the right person because I grew up with the worst fear of death that anybody has ever seen. I remember when I was like maybe seven or eight years old, and I might have said this in one of my videos, but there was this little old woman that used to hang the laundry out behind my house on this clothesline. One day, she just didn't, she wasn't hanging the laundry up and I noticed that she wasn't coming back to hang the laundry. So I guess a couple of weeks went by and I looked at my mother and I asked her, hey, what happened to that lady? And she said, well, she died. That's when I realized that people die. And then I asked my mother, does that mean you're gonna die one day? And she said, yes. Need I say, it really blew my mind. I went on for years crying and, and not understanding exactly what you said in that letter. 15, being a woman is, is, is a very sensitive, uh, you know, sensitive time. A lot of changes going on in your life right now. You want to know how I got over this? I keep saying it in all my videos. If I didn't work and keep doing everything that I wanted to do or everything I thought I wanted to do, at least tried it out and go out and search the possibilities, the artistic possibilities, the amazing things that life actually has to offer instead of the negative stuff, I would be thinking about death. And just recently, I have come to a closure of my fear of death over the last, I guess, uh, two years because I have achieved so many things that I've wanted to achieve that I realized that, you know what, if I had to go, then I really did a hell of a lot of stuff. I'm going to leave some great stuff behind. I've got the chance to meet some of the most beautiful people in the world. And what more can I ever ask for? It may sound crazy, but accomplishing stuff, being appreciative of your friends, your parents, the people that love you, all those people, it adds to your personal fuel to be able to go up there and appreciate life so that you don't fear life. You get all paranoid about living, dying. What am I gonna be when I grow up? Am I gonna get it? Do I deserve it? They owe it to me. All these things are all possible. But I assure you, you seem like such a sweet girl with a beautiful disposition. You have to just look at life like one day at a time, completely in the future. Think of the story backwards. Think of all the amazing things that you're gonna get to do, that you want to do, and that you wanna discover. And then that part will kind of fade out. There's a lot of different things in a lot of different cultures. I find that the North American death point of view has been so shattered with all these crappy TV shows and these shows where everybody's got the tubes in them and everybody's croaking there. You look at like maybe an Indian culture, these guys will walk off alone into the woods and find their spirit. Other cultures, they sing, they dance, it's a party out here. It's like an entire, like, morbid, oh my God thing. Was this an axe murder or was it natural causes? Was it a heart attack? What happened? Were they on drugs? Death <laughs> is the last personal thing you will ever do. Wipe that out. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about living. Let's talk about all the amazing things that you are going to be able to do in the very, very near future because every day is another day and every day is another day that you can fill up your brain with the possibilities of what you want to do, accomplish, to live, and not worry about death. And then all those other opportunities will open up your communication skill. It will also open up your desire to have things to talk about and your desire to, to go out and search uh, for exactly what it is you want. I'm telling you this because that was my problem. As easy as the power of speech seems to come to me, I was pretty bottled up at one point because of this whole fear of death. 
You know, this whole fear of dying thing messed me up for so many years. I can't even tell you. So I can sympathize with you and everybody who feels this way. Please, let's think about life today, life tomorrow, for everything we love and everyone that we love, and go out there and live. <laughs> Thank you, Lola. You totally rock. I hope this helps. Have a beautiful day.